is full of challenges and disagreements, but what if we could handle them coldly and wisely? That's where the ancient advice from Stoicism helps. Stoicism is all about staying cool under pressure, making smart choices, and keeping control over our feelings. It's like having a secret recipe for staying calm in a storm. In this chat, we'll explore some cool stoic tips that can help us deal with tough times more smoothly. These tips aren't just about avoiding arguments. They're about growing stronger and building better relationships along the way. So, let's dive in and discover how to turn life's tough moments into chances to shine. But wait, before we dive in, hit that subscribe button so you never miss out on my valuable content. Comment I subscribe below, and I'll personally welcome you to the Stoic Brotherhood. With that said, let's dive right into it. 15 Stoic Ways to Destroy Your Enemy Without Fighting Them Marcus Aurelius Stoicism 1. Deep Understanding When you're caught in a conflict, think of yourself as a seasoned captain steering through mysterious seas. Take a moment to pause before you respond. This isn't about hesitating. It's about giving yourself a chance to see things clearly. Just like a captain needs to understand the waters to navigate safely, you need to dig deep to grasp what's really going on in a disagreement. Ask questions that open the door to real conversation and really listen to the answers. This kind of listening isn't just about hearing words. It's about connecting on a human level, feeling what the other person feels. Often, you'll find that beneath the waves of anger or frustration, there's a current of shared worries or hopes. Recognizing this can turn someone you thought was an opponent into a partner working with you to find calm waters. 2. Choosing battles wisely. Stoicism reminds us to pick our battles with care. Imagine life as a vast garden and conflicts as seeds. You wouldn't want to waste your effort planting seeds that won't flourish or enrich your garden. So, when you face a disagreement, take a step back and think, does this really matter to me? Is it worth my energy and peace of mind? If a conflict doesn't align with your deepest values, it might be best to let it pass. Focus your efforts on issues that truly contribute to your growth and well-being. Just like a wise gardener tends to plants that bring life and beauty to the garden. 3. Clear, calm communication. When it's time to talk things out, remember that your words are powerful tools that can either calm the storm or stir up the waves even more. Approach every conversation with a mindset to mend and bridge gaps, not to widen them. Practice active listening, which means really tuning in to what the other person is saying with empathy and an open heart. When you share your own feelings or needs, frame them with I statements. This isn't about pointing fingers, but about expressing your perspective in a way that invites understanding rather than defensiveness. Think of each word you say as a seed you're planting in the garden of your relationship. With care and thoughtfulness, these seeds can grow into solutions that work for everyone involved, turning a barren patch into a vibrant, flourishing garden. 4. Finding common ground. When you're caught in a disagreement, it might feel like you're on opposite sides of a vast canyon. But if you look closely, you'll often find a bridge of shared values and goals that can connect you both. Stoicism teaches us to look for that bridge. It's about digging deeper than the surface level issue and discovering what truly matters to both of you. Maybe you both value honesty, respect or fairness. Highlighting these shared principles can turn a heated argument into a productive conversation. Think of it as joining forces to solve a puzzle rather than battling against each other. This approach not only resolves the immediate conflict, but also strengthens your relationship for future challenges. 5. Appealing to inner values. Everyone has core values that guide their decisions and views. In your interactions, try to understand what's really important to the other person. What drives them? What principles do they hold dear? When you frame your perspective in a way that aligns with their values, you're not just talking at them you're talking with them. This doesn't mean abandoning your own beliefs, but finding a common language that resonates with both of you. 
It's like discovering a secret handshake that opens doors to deeper understanding and respect. When people feel that their core values are acknowledged and respected, they're more open to listening and finding common ground. 6. Wielding humor wisely. Laughter has a special power to diffuse tension and bring people together. A well-placed joke or a light-hearted comment can transform a stiff atmosphere into a more relaxed and open one. But remember, the aim is to lighten the mood, not to make light of the other person's feelings or views. It's like walking a tightrope. Balance is key. If you sense the moment is right, a touch of humor can act as a gentle breeze that smooths out the wrinkles of conflict, making it easier for everyone to see things more clearly and find a path forward. Just make sure your humor is kind and inclusive, serving as a bridge that helps you both cross over to a place of mutual understanding and resolution. 7. Extending empathy. Imagine walking in someone else's shoes for a day. You'd feel their pebbles and their soft grass, wouldn't you? That's empathy. When you're in a tough spot with someone, try to understand where they're coming from. It doesn't mean you have to agree with them, but acknowledging their feelings and views can make a big difference. This understanding can break down walls and help you both feel more connected. It's like finding a bridge you didn't know was there, making it easier to meet in the middle and sort things out together. By the way, before we continue, I've got a very special gift for you. It's a roadmap to unlocking the kind of wisdom that can lead to unparalleled success in all aspects of your life. It's a completely free ebook titled Success Secret with Stoicism. Uncover 17 secret ways to be ultra successful in life, relationship and career. Even if you have previously messed up your life, this is the secret to the wealth, fame, luxury, fortune of the most powerful kings in the history. Don't just dream of success, manifest it with the wisdom of stoicism. Just check the link below and it's all yours. With that said, let's continue. 8. Mastering the art of compromise. Being flexible and open to finding common ground shows real strength. Compromising isn't about losing or giving up what matters to you. Instead, it's about juggling your needs with others to come up with solutions that work for everyone. Think of it like a tree in the wind. It sways and bends but doesn't snap. This ability to adapt while staying rooted is what helps everyone get through the storm together. It's about creating a space where everyone's respected and can thrive, even when you don't see eye to eye. 9. Seeking external help. Sometimes, despite your best efforts, Things can get too tangled up to sort out on your own. It's okay to admit that and seek help from someone neutral, like a mediator or counselor. They're like a guide in a maze, offering new perspectives and helping find the way out when you're stuck. Their experience can shine a light on hidden paths, ensuring everyone's voice is heard. Recognizing when it's time to get this kind of help is a wise and strong move. It's about taking constructive steps forward, even when the journey seems tough. 10. Embracing forgiveness. Imagine carrying a heavy backpack full of rocks, each rock representing a grudge or a hurt from the past. Now, think about how freeing it would feel to set that backpack down. That's what forgiveness does for you. It's not about saying what happened was okay or forgetting about it. Instead, it's about choosing to let go of the anger and resentment that weigh you down. This choice liberates you, allowing you to move forward with a lighter heart. When you forgive, you're not doing it for the person who wronged you, you're doing it for yourself, to set yourself free and open the door to healing and new beginnings. Remember, holding on to anger is like holding a hot coal with the intent of throwing it at someone else. You're the one who gets burned. So choose to drop the coal and step into a future where you're no longer defined by past hurts. 11. Growth from conflict. Every disagreement or argument is like a mirror showing you a part of yourself that you might not have noticed before. It's easy to see conflicts as just obstacles, but they're actually opportunities in disguise. 
opportunities to learn something new about yourself, to grow stronger, and to improve your relationships. Think of each conflict as a lesson, asking yourself, what can I learn from this? Maybe it's a chance to practice patience, to improve how you communicate, or to stand up for what you believe in a more effective way. By looking for the lesson in each challenge, you turn the ashes of conflict into fertile soil for your personal growth, planting seeds of wisdom and resilience that will help you navigate future challenges with greater ease and confidence. 12. Setting Boundaries Setting boundaries is like drawing a map of where your personal space begins and ends. It's about knowing and communicating what is okay and what is not okay for you. This isn't about building walls around yourself. It's about drawing lines that protect your well-being and respect your needs. When you clearly communicate your boundaries to others with kindness and respect, you teach them how to treat you. It's also important to stick to your boundaries consistently, which builds trust and respect in your relationships. Think of boundaries as the rules of the road for your interactions with others. They keep everyone safe and make the journey smoother for all involved. So don't be afraid to draw your lines and remember that it's okay to say no when something doesn't feel right for you. 13. Controlling reactions. In the heat of the moment, it can feel like your emotions are driving the car and logic is in the back seat. But here's a stoic secret. You're actually the one in the driver's seat, especially when it comes to how you react. You can't control what others say or do, but you can control your response. Before reacting, take a deep breath and give yourself a moment to choose how you want to respond. This pause is a powerful tool. It's your shield against knee-jerk reactions that you might regret later. By choosing to respond with calmness and thoughtfulness, you maintain your inner peace and you stand tall in your dignity, no matter what storms are swirling around you. It's about finding your inner calm, your personal eye of the storm, where you can see clearly and make decisions that align with the person you want to be. 14. Practicing mindfulness in the midst of conflict. Mindfulness, a practice in harmony with stoic principles, encourages us to remain fully present during conflicts, anchoring ourselves in the here and now rather than getting lost in past grievances or future anxieties. This involves observing our thoughts and emotions without judgment, allowing us to respond to conflicts with a clear and calm mind by focusing on our breath or the physical sensations of the moment. We can create a space between stimulus and response, giving us the freedom to choose our actions wisely. Practicing mindfulness amidst conflict helps us maintain our equilibrium, ensuring that our responses are measured, thoughtful, and aligned with our core values. It's like finding a peaceful center in the eye of a storm from which we can observe the chaos around us without being swept away by it. 15. Cultivating gratitude for the learning opportunity. Gratitude, a concept that complements stoic teachings, involves appreciating the growth and learning opportunities inherent in every conflict. Instead of viewing disagreements purely as sources of stress or contention, we can reframe them as chances to develop our character, empathy, and understanding. By expressing gratitude for the lessons learned, even in challenging situations, we shift our focus from resentment and frustration to appreciation and growth. This positive perspective fosters resilience, enabling us to navigate future conflicts with greater wisdom and a deeper sense of inner peace. It's akin to nurturing a garden where each conflict plants a seed of insight, with gratitude as the sunlight that helps these seeds sprout into valuable life lessons. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to download your free copy of the book in the description section or pinned comment below. Titled, Success Secret with Stoicism. 17 Secret Ways to be Ultra Successful in Life, Relationship and Career. Even if you have previously messed up your life, you'll be amazed at what you see. And don't miss the playlist on your screen. If you haven't already, hit like, subscribe, and drop your thoughts in the comments. Catch you in the next video.